you. And now let's head out to Vince Petrano and Susan Kim. They're at Whistling Straits in Sheboygan County, about an hour north of Milwaukee. Busy week ahead. How are you guys doing? Yeah, Ryan, great to see you. Good morning. Yeah. Uh, we are going to have a ton of Ryder Cup coverage throughout the week here on TMJ4. So we want to take a moment first to just kind of explain where we are and really what this event is all about. So we're at the far end of the driving range at Whistling Straits. For those of you who may have been here, you know where that is. This is home of the 43rd Ryder Cup. So what is the Ryder Cup? You're hearing a lot about it this week. It's an international golfing event between some of the best players from the U.S. and Europe playing against each other. The tournament normally happens every two years. This year's Ryder Cup was delayed one year because of the coronavirus pandemic, which is why it is still being called the 2020 Ryder Cup, even though it's 2021. It's expected to draw worldwide attention and is arguably the biggest, most prestigious golf event ever held in Wisconsin. And it's happening right here in Sheboygan County. I think there's no argument on that. Biggest, most you prestigious. I don't want to argue okay. it. Right. We All are right. joined this morning by the mayor of the great city of Sheboygan, Mayor Ryan Sorensen. Mr. Mayor, great to see you this morning. Good Super morning, exciting week. Welcome morning. to Sheboygan morning. County. Yes. Thanks for driving up this morning. <laughs> Thanks Appreciate for having it. us. Glad yeah. to be here. Let's jump right in because we've talked exhaustively about the potential $135 million economic impact for this region of our state. I think specifically for the county, they're talking about $30 million. Are you seeing businesses in Sheboygan and in the area uh, on the front end of trying to realize that? And how are you helping them yeah, do that? Yes, definitely. Businesses are ready. They're fired up. They're excited about this. Yeah. Hotels are booked. Restaurants have reservations. Folks are staffing up, extending hours. Everyone's excited. I think now it's finally settling in that, okay, this big event, this big international event is putting a spotlight right here on Sheboygan and Sheboygan County. So we're fired up. We're excited to host um, all these uh, wonderful people, whether they're international tourists, original ones. Sheboygan is the Malibu of the Midwest. So Indeed. We're, uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're known for our hospitality and our tourism, so we're excited. Cool. So I'm, I'm curious because Whistling Straits is obviously no stranger to hosting these major events. When you talk to people in the, your community, are they uh, apprehensive or how would you describe their mood going into this event? Do they think it's just like the PGA Championship? Well, I think that's, that's, that's what we've been trying to communicate, that this is much bigger. This mm -hmm. is an international event. Um, we're bringing in people from all over the world, the globe. Um, we're anticipating to have 45,000 individuals on this property every single day. Um, and hotels are booked from the city of Sheboygan and Milwaukee all the way up to the Fox Valley as well. So it's, it's settling in. It's going to be big. And I think uh, everyone in Sheboygan is, is ready to, to see what happens. We're talking with Ryan Sorensen. He's the mayor of Sheboygan. Uh, Mr. Mayor, you know, we've had events in the past. One of the things we've been talking about this morning is the fact that Whistling Straits is a public golf course. Yep. It's not cheap, but anybody can come here and play this course. So I imagine that's probably a piece of what you want to carry forward. So this isn't a one-off economic oh, impact. Yeah. So people come back and see you time and time again. Yeah, and that's that's one thing that we see about Ryder Cup events is that locations that host the Ryder Cup events, the years following see a large increase in uh, international tourism again that want to try out the course, see what it's about, um, and take a few swings out there as well. <laughs> and Whistling Straits isn't the only golf course around here. I'm hearing that people who are visiting